day everyone welcome to our youtube channel today we will still continue on our angle theorem series but our main focus will be on corresponding angles vertically opposite angles and alternate angles now in this case now we have seen this diagram here we are going to use this to explain these three concepts now a is equal to angle a is equal to angle d that is vertically opposite so we can also call it x angles if you don't mind so a is equals to angle d that is the vertically opposite angles now the same thing we also for corresponding angles b is equal to f angle b is equals to angle f because they are corresponding angles corresponding angles are equal the same thing with alternate angle has C. Angle C is equal to angle F because they are alternate angles. What do you mean by alternate angles? Alternate angles usually form a Z shape. Therefore, it means that whatever angle is here will also be the same thing here. That's why the C is equal to F. All right. Now, we can also say that A is equal to E, the corresponding angles. Even C is equal to H, the corresponding angles. So B can be equal to B can be equal to C because they are vertically opposite angles. The same thing with E and G, they are vertically opposite angles. H and F are vertically opposite angles. All right, let's use this idea to solve our first our example. Now, in this case, now we are being asked to find all these missing angles, but we have been given only one angle. Now, the first thing we have to do now, don't forget that 150 degrees is equal to, Z is equal to 150 degrees because it is vertically opposite. So, angle Z is equal to 150 degrees. They are vertically opposite. All right. So, we can also find x by saying x plus 150 degrees is equal to 180 degrees because this is an angle on a straight line. So, angle on a straight line. Alright, so x is equal to 180 degrees minus 150 degrees. So, x is equal to 180 and that's 150 will give us 30 degrees. It therefore means that x in this case is equal to 30 degrees. So if x is equal to 30 degrees, it therefore means that y is 30 degrees. That means y is equal to 30 degrees. Y vertically opposite angles are equal. Now the same thing, you can also find a. A is equal to 150 degrees because it's corresponding angle to 150 degrees. So a is equal to 150 degrees corresponding angles are equal you can also find b because b is corresponding to 30 degrees so b is equal to 30 degrees corresponding angle all right so we have gotten a we have gotten b so you can also get c from y because if y is 30 degrees that means c is what also 30 degrees corresponding angle so c is equals to 30 degrees corresponding angles you can also get the value of d there are two ways of getting the value of d so d is vertically opposite a a is 150 degrees or d is corresponding to z which is the same 150 degrees so there are different ways of getting the value of d you can say d is vertically opposite a or d is corresponding to z which is 150 degrees too so d is equals to 150 degrees it is vertically opposite a or it is corresponding angle to z all right we've come to the end of our exciting lesson on the corresponding angles, vertically opposite angles, and alternate angles. I hope you learned a lot. Please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
for more exciting mathematics videos. Thank you.